on CBS 19, 10 at 10, get ready to see some Hot Wheels. From cars to pickup trucks, we will have a look at the models that will soon hit the streets. Join us for a trip to the Houston Auto Show tonight on 10 at 10. Now on to this morning's top stories. Good morning and thank you for joining us for the CBS 19 This Morning Update. I'm Danny Huey. And I'm Clint Yates. New this morning, firefighters are working two house fires in Mineola. The fire started just after 4 this morning on Highway 80 east of Loop 564. Firefighters tell us two homes and three cars were burned in that fire. Right now, the eastbound lane of Highway 80 is shut down and traffic is being diverted to the westbound lane. No injuries have been reported. The cause of the fires are still under investigation. Three East Texans are among dozens of people around the state facing charges in a human smuggling operation. They're accused of making the illegal immigrants work in Chinese food restaurants for little pay. One is from Mineola, the other two from Nacogdoches. Can you talk to me about what you did while you're being arrested? Federal agents and police raided four different homes in Port Arthur and started arresting people Thursday morning. Police say they are illegal immigrants who were causing a stir in the neighborhood. One of the homes was filled with bedrooms. The garage was even used as housing space, too, with letters on the doors like an apartment. But there were um, hurdles that we had to go over to uh, accomplish what we needed to do. And uh, hopefully now we'll, the, the neighbors will get some rep reprieve off of this particular street. The arrests are the result of a lengthy investigation by several agencies. Those indicted are charged with immigration conspiracy, among other charges. They could each face up to 30 years in prison if convicted. Highway 80 Rescue Mission in Longview needs your help keeping East Texans warm. It's desperately in need of blankets. With the recent freezing temperatures, Highway 80 has found it's running very low on supplies. The rescue mission can use blankets, jackets, and anything else to help keep the chill out as more people find their way in this winter. Well, definitely not a chill in the air this morning. Yeah, let's check in with Scott. Clinton Dana, your Friday forecast today on this TGIF day. Look for mostly cloudy skies. Some early morning drizzle, some mist around East Texas. Otherwise, the southerly winds are really going to help warm us up today. Yesterday, we only topped out at 53. Today, we'll exceed that well by the lunchtime today, even mid-morning. 62 at noon, about 67 your high today. It'll be windy all day, a south wind at 15 to 25 miles per hour. That blanket of cloud cover staying pretty well intact across East Texas most of the day. We'll see some breaks from time to time this afternoon, mid to late afternoon, going into the evening and overnight hours tonight. We've got a cold front up to the north. It stays lodged to the north with the upper level flow running parallel with it, so not much incentive or encouragement to push it south until during the day tomorrow. Front should move into the East Texas area around midnight tomorrow night. They'll see a wintry mix out over the central plains. Just a liquid rain event here. 30% chance tomorrow, a high of 71. Cold rain on Sunday with highs near 43. Thanks, Scott, for the very latest all day long. Go to our website, cbs19.tv or tylerpaper.com. And then tune in later today for CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10 at 10. Hope you have a great day.